Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon. What a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And we will make some yogurt. So I pour in whole milk and bring it to a boil. And uh, to make my yogurt richer, more delicious, I put some uh, whipping cream. That should be sufficient. And uh, vanilla extract and the sugar. You know, sometimes we know something may not be the best, but uh, life is about enjoyment, right? We live life to enjoy. So if we want to eat some sugar, go ahead enjoy some sugar without this sugar the, the the vanilla yogurt will be not delicious and that is not what we want we want to maximize the enjoyment in everything any time of our life which including includes that uh, making the best yogurt hmm. So this couple of days, I was uh, doing some uh, some premiere video so that uh, I can live chat with other friends. And it's kind of selfish. Selfish in the sense is that uh, I want to improve my typing. And um, I have a, a, a problem with typing. I used to type a lot. Sorry, let me put it back in and then I can chat with you nicely. So I have put everything in. Now stir a little bit until it is boiling and not very much we can do. I will take this chance to blah, blah, blah. So uh, it's, a, it's out of a, a quite a selfish reason that I do this, uh, this uh, uh, live video, because I can learn to type. Not I can learn to type, I can, I can speed up my typing. And I was quite lazy in typing, especially uh, recently I do video and I read comments but I do not write comments any question any comments I reply with another video instead of typing it out there is something good about it because nobody gets the trace if you do not type it out there's nothing written but um, but uh, when something is more important, it is important to type it out from time to time. Anyway, I improve myself. And uh, <clears throat> every day is a learning process. It's a learning, it's a, a learning day. And uh, we were talking about economics. It's because uh, I... <clears throat> I was doing the homework for an economic student and I found some problem, marginal utility. And then um, I got some friends uh, recommend me different courses. And I think it's very, very, very good so that we can exchange idea and exchange thoughts. One of the course, uh, one of the, 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 the friends recommended is a crash course economics. It is a wonderful, wonderful course, no doubt. The only thing is that uh, the people there talking, I think they talk too fast. You know, I am not a native speaker and understanding a foreign language needs a lot of brain power to process. And also, when people speak fast, my brain cannot catch up with, uh, with, uh, with the word, with the word flow. 
so I could not digest. I remember Mr. Rogers, and he speaks always very, very slow, very, very precise and concrete and nicely. And the truth is that we learn more things from people who be, speak slower. Not necessarily the slowest slow, sometimes even slower. Slower will be even better, but um, usually in, um, in the speed that uh, for me to understand, which means slow, is, uh, is, um, is a very important quality of those videos, I think. Maybe because we are in this fast economy, everything is fast. Fast food, fast fashion, fast uh, learning, fast, uh, uh, fast uh, um, course, fast um, uh, knowledge, everything is fast. It does not stay. So it's better to, to do it slowly, take the time to learn. And uh, one thing I would like to share with you, not only um, because I benefited so much, not only because it's, um, it speaks slow, speaks in the right pace, but also I, I'm very grateful for, for these uh, uh, websites and YouTube channels. So I listened to the Yale, course. I listened to MIT course and I listened to Stanford course and uh, other University of Washington and, uh, and uh, other different schools and mostly I listened to these three. There are some professors I really admire and, um, and uh, I could not imagine without internet we can have the access to the big universities, the greatest universities, and, um, and the sitting in my room, sitting and just do exactly the same thing as the students who, who score the highest GPA, highest SAT, highest AP, and have the best recommendation letters. And I could be almost virtually sitting together with these people and listening to those professors' class. And uh, it is unbelievable. Knowledge sharing and expertise sharing and goodness, kindness sharing is for the better good of the whole society. If we are better off, those schools are, our life will be better off and uh, knowledge will be spread and we will be living in a safer, better, and uh, more interesting, more advanced, more civilized society, right? Do I make any sense? So go ahead, listen to MIT course, Yale course, Harvard course, Stanford course. Those, there are many, many great courses. I have listened to one, I think one is BAM, Pollock, uh, Professor Ben Pollock. Now he is uh, he he is promoted to be a, 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 a academic dean or administrator, a, a higher role in Yale University. Per 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 so I forgot. Anyway, so so the milk we need to cool it down. And maybe we will do a smarter way to cool down the milk. So I will put a, a bowl of cold water in some food. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh oh, uh oh, I'm messing around. Anyway, so I will put a bowl of uh, uh, cold water. Some people would like to put ice. I was thinking just uh, it's kind of a waste of, uh, of energy, you know, to cool down water it takes so much energy if you learn about entropy and uh, entropy you understand that water is one of the best one of the most uh, 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 difficult or the hardest to heat or to cool and uh, you use ice just to cool it down it's not very smart just to use um, Use cold water and uh, the water will be heated up just by heat transfer. You can use this water to, to, to wash your countertop or something. You can take good advantage of this warm water and use it uh, uh, nicely or cool it down to, to water your plant. Anyway, uh, when we do anything, I think uh, do not only listen to what uh, restaurant do. Restaurant, they will put water because, um, I don't know why, because they are not smart, right? They are not uh, thinking about the best efficiency of, uh, of energy. They, they are thinking about the best efficiency of doing something. They do not have the luxury of time, while we have the luxury of time. So we have different priority. And this different priority talks about a lot about economy. What, what decision you make, sometimes we do not have unlimited resources, and we make the best of our resources. Not everything is the same for everybody. Something works for the restaurant definitely does not work for me. And something work for me definitely will not work for the restaurant. If industrial production make yogurt every time they take half an hour to cool down the milk, gosh, their factory will be closed because their production efficiency will be so slow. Right, and they will ha have their way to heat up the ice. They can they can transfer the the energy, use it smartly. Anyway, so we were talking about uh, um, uh, learning new knowledges, and there are many many good course. I have listened to one uh, University of Washington. One uh, public speaking and uh, and debate argument course that professor was so good, and listening to him talking is almost like a comedy show, but uh, not a comedy show not um, not just for the sake of laughing for the sake of joke. It's that he has so much knowledge, every example, every way, he, everything, every, at every corner, every turn, there is something, his way of interpreting it, make it so fun and so interesting and so delightful and so humorous to listen to. And another one I listened to, to uh, Paul Bloom, from Yale University, a, 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 psych, a, a philosophy professor or psychology professor, and uh, a course of 20 classes, which means around 20 hours, and the University of Washington around 10 hours course, and uh, the Yale course, Yale uh, Game Theory by Ben Pollock, is around um, how many hours? 25, 20, 21. Around 20 to, to 20, 22, 24 hours or something. And also there is one uh, Stanford professor who teaches um, philosophy. Very cool guy, very interesting. 
and another professor who teaches about calculus, about um, um, mathematics, mathematical thinking, mathematical way of doing things, is uh, um, Stanford University professor. He he is from uh, from UK and he speaks with English accent, and it's quite fun to listen to. And uh, his name is um, Keith Devlin. I I started to to know him because uh, I live in close to Stanford, and uh, he was invited to do a book release, book talk, at um, at uh, an independent bookstore. I think it's Books Inc. or no 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 Kepler's Kepler's. NGO, um, um, NG, uh, had a, a talk show, so he had an interview and starting from there, I started to see his face, saw his face and start to be fascinated by the things he talked about and um, it's really a mess professor. He has a way to bring ideas so precisely, clearly, logically, and rationally, and it's a, it's a joy to listen to those um, great university course. And they use a very traditional method, not PowerPoint, bing, boom, blig, blig, ba, and those uh, uh, bullet points uh, and. Uh, and the PowerPoints. No, they use a blackboard, a green board, a white board, and they really write it down. It's very enjoyable to watch too. Okay, we are getting a little bit cool down. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we were discussing about uh, uh, spending money. One of the things to make the best use of your money is to to buy limited, to buy less, and to it's not necessarily buy less. It's understand what you need and do not buy more than you need. If you need a hundred uh, cucumber, buy a hundred cucumber. If you need that much, and uh, don't buy ninety nine because it's not enough. Don't buy a hundred one because that's too much, and uh, so. So you get what you need and you optimize the joy of shopping, of enjoyment. And on the other hand, I start to think, yesterday we are talking so much about saving money, use less. We are missing the other side of the story. We are ignoring the other facet of our life, which is enjoy life. If nobody buys, the factory will be closed and, um, and there will be no consuming power. That was the dear condition for a country. And um, for any economy, it needs consuming power, needs people to spend money. And uh, it's a struggle, it's a paradox. But um, how to make the best balance tax and all these things tax and regulation and uh, and uh, money control loan interest all these things it's beyond our knowledge what we can do is that if it's a grandma's business let grandma take care of it and i take care of my own business and I enjoy my life. If I want to buy a lipstick and I need it and it gives me the maximum joy by spending $2 to buy a chapstick, lipsticks on sale, I go ahead and do it because it makes me happy. And uh, if I find a bag, a thousand dollar bag, maybe that's a little bit too much, it's beyond my budget, it does not bring me joy. If I need something more expensive and it is exactly the thing I want, I need, and uh, it gives me the joy of uh, 
treating myself, cherishing my life, and uh, respecting myself, appreciating myself, I will go ahead and do it. So make the right decision by doing the right thing. Not too many, not too few. Not too much, not too... Um, not too little. And um, enjoy life to the fullest. And, um, and use every day to the best. Go to movie, go to go to go outside, enjoy sunshine. If you spend less money in in buying a cup of coffee, you may damage, you may deteriorate the business of coffee shop. But on the whole, you may spend that money to buy a book and in general your budget, your contribution to the whole society will be the same. So do not be too narrow-minded. Make sure you spend your money and uh, enjoy your life. And um, make the best of your life. Oh, this is almost good. I touch my hand. Let me wash my hand. By the way, the price of things does not have very much a meaning because it's all relative and the spending power is all relative. It depends on your, cons your consuming power, depends on your earning power, your earning capacity. If you make more, you spend more. That is very natural. If you make less, you spend less, of course. And uh, my way of spending money in my parents will be too wasting. And my way of spending money comparing to my um, to the younger generation or people who from China, I will be too stingy. My friends in China, I am too stingy. So it's all relative. There is not a right or wrong. You find your most comfortable and convenient way of doing things. Let's do the yogurt. It is so good. Okay, I have boiled some hot water, boiling water. And the good thing is that I have creme de marron, so I can make it more delicious, maximize the advantage of homemade yogurt, and make the best of the very, very best. One, two, seven, eight. Total eight little bottle. Look at it, it's so good. Creme de marron. Because it's a plastic, uh, it's a glass, glass jar. I use a, a glass jar, a transparent glass jar for Now we put the starter yogurt. This starter yogurt I made from uh, ooh, ooh, here. from this uh, uh, this alsa. We are talking about business, right? We are talking about uh, econ economics. So let's just do it the economic way. The economical way. I sell this uh, little uh, starter and each of this little packet, totally four packets and one packet I make eight little jars and these eight jars, each jar make eight. So one packet can make 64 
little yogurts for me to eat. And uh, it's, uh, it's much, much, much less expensive, right? You cannot calculate the price. It's hard to calculate the price. Uh, the cost comparatively, that is almost nothing when you count it. And 64 little jars of it. Gosh, it's hard to calculate. Let me, um, I do not even know how much the quantity is one of these. Must be around. Um, so it's something like uh, 10 cents a jar around it. Might be. Imagine you go to supermarket, which one you can get such a good price, right? It is less expensive and it's uh, pure. It's much pure. There is only milk. If you want it, only milk and sugar, vanilla extract, cream, and there's no uh, other chemical. There is the starter, the bacteria, not bacteria, bacteria, and no other foreign things. There's no gelatin to make it gluey. There's no other additive to make it anything special, uh, a special effect, because sometimes you put this gelatin to make it more jelly-like, and um, it's not good. It's uh, better just by itself, so firm and so, so condensed. That is the best. I will show you the one I have already made. Um, because I make it every day, so I will show you the one I made the day before yesterday or two days before, so that you can see the, the density. When the yogurt is done, do not eat it immediately, because the yogurt has not totally settled, and all the bacteria, all the uh, the yogurt, uh, it's still very active, so it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a good texture. It's better to wait. Okay, so what do I do? I sell this on my online shop. Four packet of it, uh, a new container with one glass jar with one not glass jar, one ceramic jar. If you like glass jar, I have a lot, new, never used. And this ceramic pot, little pot, looks so cute. And uh, I have bought that, uh, that lid also. You can find the lid in, uh, in local shop. Not local shop, in, uh, in container store or something. Anyway. So, um, enjoy your life and, uh, and maximum your joy by not overspending, not not spending, spending and be generous to spend money because uh, um, that is patriotic, because that is making contribution to, to your country to your state, to your neighborhood, to your family, to yourself. When you are better off, everyone is better off. When your country is better off, everyone in the country is better off. And when the whole everyone is better off, the whole world is a better place by eating yogurt. I love you, I really do. Oh, no, I haven't shown you.
So here's the yogurt I made. You can take a look. So good, creme de marron. And the consistency, I intentionally use a plastic spoon so that it does not make too much ding 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 noise. And see the consistency. Perfect. There's no gel, no gelatin, nothing. And this kind has a, a better consistency. It's very, very good. And I, I, I have this spoon. It's in my pocket. Every day I take it with me. So I do not need to use a new spoon. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Mm. So good.